if Secretary Clinton's team did what they said they did, uh, then they would be in compliance with the Federal Records Act. Okay, and specifically, did the White House know that Secretary Clinton had her own server? I don't know the answer to that. I, as I mentioned earlier, I think the extent of knowledge about Secretary Clinton's um, email was her email address. Uh, and she used that email address that, as, as we all now know, was not uh, at state.gov. Well, Hillary Clinton using not only private email, but her own private server, and that's causing all kinds of questions and new action. The Benghazi Select Committee issuing this statement uh, today and issuing subpoenas. The Select Committee on Benghazi today issued subpoenas for all communications of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton related to Libya and to the State Department for other individuals who have information pertinent to the investigation. The committee also has issued preservation letters to Internet firms informing them of their legal obligation to protect all relevant documents. That's really the question. How many of these documents uh, are protected and how many, she says she turned over 55,000, how many weren't turned over and are they related to any of this. Bloomberg had a story about this, writing, quote, you erase it and everything's gone. Matt DeVos, a security expert who had his own private email for years, commercial services like those from Google and Yahoo retain copies even after users erase them from their inbox. Although Clinton worked hard to secure the private system, her consultants appear to have set it up with a misconfigured encryption system, something that left it vulnerable to hacking, said Alex McGeorge, head of threat intelligence at Immunity, Inc., Miami based digital security firm. More stories every few hours, it seems. Let's bring in our panel. Steve Hayes, senior writer for the Weekly Standard. Juan Williams, columnist with The Hill and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Okay, Steve. Well, this is a big problem for Hillary Clinton. And this is a story that's not going away anytime soon, in part because of what you just mentioned. This, this, this story has so many different aspects to it, so many different facets to it. She's going to eventually have to explain herself. But I think what's, what's really interesting about this is that this, we, we, we are learning about these emails as a result of the investigation that con is being conducted by Trey Gowdy, the House Benghazi investigation. The presumption was all of these questions had been answered. There was nothing more to find. There had been these exhaustive investigations. House Foreign Affairs had done one. House Intelligence Committee had done one. And people who watch this show uh, might remember that there was some skepticism that, in fact, all of the questions had been answered. Um, clearly, there's more to learn. Clearly, Hillary Clinton didn't provide those committees with the emails. Uh, in some cases, they didn't have an opportunity to interview her, such as the State Department's ARB report. There are many questions just on the Benghazi angle of this, but then you go to the transparency angle, the fact that she clearly set this up to circumvent require government transparency requirements. This is a story that is going to be around for a long time. You know, she eventually turned over these 55,000, mm -hmm. but it took 22 months after she left office one and a request from the State Department to do that. What do you see about this? I, I think I see that you have a, I think, a rather entitled Hillary Clinton who felt like she was going to have a private avenue of communication. Marie Harf at the State Department said it's not clear that there was anything classified being communicated. There are other means in which she could have been communicating with people. But it opens doors, as Steve was saying, to all manner of questions and, of course, to her critics, especially folks in the Benghazi investigation who think, gosh, something may have been hidden there. And that's why this is a problem. And it, it also relates to the earlier problem with the foundation and the fact that she was taking money from other countries. So on the, it, it, it just piles up in that regard. You have to understand, though, I think that in this town, it's not just politicians, but journalists who oftentimes have a second and private email account. The question would be whether there was any intent on Mrs. Clinton's part to keep information away from prying eyes, from the Congress, from the public. To that point, uh, ABC 2020 did a story back in 2001 in which it had Mrs. Clinton on camera uh, saying this. As much as I've been investigated and all that, you know, why I don't even, why would I ever want to do email? Can you imagine? That was uh, from 2020. It seems that this server, Charles, was set up the day that she was sworn in as Secretary of State. The domain is active until after the election of 2016. Yes, a lot of people have private email accounts, but name one who has a private server set up that they control and it's in their house. 
with Secret Service protecting the house. Well, this Jeb is, Bush used yeah. a private account, private server as but, well, but I believe. He's put it all out so anybody mm, can we access don't know that. it. Well, we don't know that. Do, has there been any allegation that they've been hiding it? No, no, that he hasn't put it all out. We don't. We know that he's put some out, but there's indications that it, it's not all out. If you're going to be Secretary of State and you've said in 2001, why would I do email? And you're setting up, a, you're using a private account. You, you, you're setting it up in your house, so it's protected. You are clearly uh, constructing a system in which you control access. If anybody ever demands access, you will have your lawyers out there for a year blocking, questioning, and protecting it. And as we just heard, if you want it to make something disappear by swapping out a server, you can do it. Nobody knows. Now, why would you do that if you're Secretary of State and you're not intending at some point to be secretive about it? You know, this is the same old Clinton that we know, and I think the reason it hurts her is because we have, we've seen the movie before throughout the 90s. The Clintons aren't just entitled, they also have a sense that they are to be protected in a way no one else is, and then they end up, when they're accused of violating either the law or the practice, making distinctions that are, I mean, the adjective Clintonian was invented for these fine distinctions between legal, illegal, proper and improper. This is a version of it depends what the word is, is. When we come back, there's more to this, not only the politics, but the substance on this story. Back with the panel in a minute.